In the late 1800s, the American Wild West was a place of danger, lawlessness, and adventure. One of the most notorious figures to emerge from this era was John Selman, a skilled gunman and outlaw who gained notoriety for his involvement in various criminal activities, including cattle rustling and robbery. Selman was also involved in the assassination of John Wesley Hardin, another notorious outlaw, and was later killed in a gunfight with another lawman, George Scarborough. Despite his criminal past, Selman remains a popular figure in the lore of the American Wild West, and his life and legacy continue to fascinate people to this day. In this video, we will take a closer look at the life of John Selman, his criminal activities, and his impact on the American Wild West. John Selman was born on December 16, 1839, in Madison County, Alabama. In the early 1850s, Selman moved to Texas and became involved in various criminal activities, including cattle rustling and robbery. Selman quickly gained a reputation as a skilled gunman, and he was known to have killed several men in gunfights. He also became involved in the notorious Sutton Taylor feud, a long-running feud between two Texas families that resulted in numerous killings and acts of violence. Selman was on the side of the Taylors, and his involvement in the feud further cemented his reputation as a dangerous outlaw. Despite his criminal activities, Selman was able to avoid arrest for many years, and he continued to operate as an outlaw in Texas throughout the 1870s and 1880s. In 1895, John Selman was involved in the assassination of John Wesley Hardin, another notorious outlaw and one of Selman's longtime rivals. Hardin had recently been released from prison and had returned to Texas, where he resumed his criminal activities. Selman, who had a personal vendetta against Hardin, conspired with a group of men to assassinate him. On August 19, 1895, Selman and his accomplices confronted Hardin in a saloon in El Paso, Texas. In the ensuing gunfight, Hardin was killed, and Selman and his associates fled the scene. The assassination of John Wesley Hardin was a major event in the history of the American Wild West and cemented John Selman's reputation as a dangerous and ruthless outlaw. Despite his involvement in the assassination of John Wesley Hardin, John Selman's criminal activities did not cease. In 1896, Selman was involved in another deadly altercation, this time with John T. Jumbo McComb, a local businessman in El Paso, Texas. On April 5, 1896, Selman and McComb got into an argument in a saloon, which quickly escalated into a physical altercation. In the ensuing brawl, Selman drew his gun and shot McComb dead. Selman was arrested and charged with murder, and he was ultimately sentenced to two years in prison. However, due to good behavior, Selman was released early after serving just 18 months. Following his release from prison, John Selman worked as a deputy sheriff in El Paso, Texas, but he continued to engage in criminal activities, including bribery and extortion. Selman's reputation as a lawman was tarnished by his involvement in criminal activities, and he was eventually dismissed from his position as a deputy sheriff. On April 5, 1896, just a few months after his release from prison, Selman was involved in a gunfight with another lawman, George Scarborough, in the Acme Saloon in El Paso. Selman drew his gun and fired at Scarborough, but Scarborough was able to return fire, fatally shooting Selman in the chest. Selman died instantly, and his death marked the end of his notorious career as an outlaw and criminal. John Selman's life and legacy continue to fascinate people today. Despite his criminal activities, Selman remains a popular figure in the lore of the American Wild West. His involvement in the assassination of John Wesley Hardin, in particular, has become the stuff of legend, and Selman's reputation as a skilled gunman and ruthless outlaw has been immortalized in numerous books, films, and other media. Selman has been portrayed in various works of fiction, including the films, The Life and Times of Judge Roy Bean, 1972, and Jesse James, 1939, as well as the television series, Deadwood, 2004-2006. Selman's life has also been the subject of several non-fiction books, including, John Selman, Texas Gunfighter and Lawman, by Leon Metz. Despite his notoriety, John Selman's life remains shrouded in mystery, and many details about his life and criminal activities are still unknown. John Selman was one of the most notorious outlaws of the American Wild West. His criminal activities, including cattle rustling, robbery, and murder, 
made him a feared and dangerous figure. Despite his notoriety, Selman was able to evade capture for many years, and he continued to operate as an outlaw well into his later years. Selman's involvement in the assassination of John Wesley Hardin and his subsequent death in a gunfight with another lawman, George Scarborough, have made him a legendary figure in the lore of the American Wild West. Today, John Selman remains a popular figure in popular culture, and his life and legacy continue to fascinate people all over the world. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content related to John Selman and the American Old West, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you'll be notified whenever we upload new videos and will help support our efforts to bring you high-quality content on this fascinating era of American history. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more great content in the future.